Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I cut my hair. I just got it done a few days ago. Anyways, for today's video, I'm gonna be recreating a viral foundation routine from TikTok. I will leave the creator right here. She is absolutely beautiful. And of course, I will link her TikTok down below. I'm probably not gonna include audio in this video just because I feel like with that, you get copyrighted. But I'm gonna walk through step-by-step -step with this foundation routine and I'll kind of explain the steps as I go since I'm not gonna include her audio. But basically, her face looks like a filter. And when I saw the end result, I was like, okay, I need to try that, especially because this is so different than how I do my makeup. It's a lot of makeup it's a lot of steps but it looks flawless so I'm gonna recreate it and I'm gonna wear it for a few hours and let you guys know how it does look later on but yeah I hope you guys enjoy definitely grab a snack get cozy and let's get into it and try this foundation routine out so the very first thing that she does in her routine is moisturizer she uses Lubriderm in her routine I don't have that moisturizer I don't believe it's cruelty free either so I'm just gonna use the Milani SPF BFF primer so this is a primer but honestly it feels like a moisturizer and it has SPF in it so it's great under makeup and it's like a creamy moisturizer which I feel like that's kind of what Lubriderm is as well it's like a cream versus like a gel or something so I'm gonna just put this on all over this is one of my all-time favorite primers because it really is like a moisturizer but it has SPF and it does a good job under makeup and like makes your products last and everything so then she uses a rosehip carrier oil and she presses it into her skin she doesn't mention which one it is so I just got the ordinary one this is the rosehip seed oil just 100% I picked this up from Ulta and I'm just gonna press this into the skin she mentioned she has super dry skin so I feel like this is a good step to do before makeup because then your products will just like go on really nicely over top i never do oil before foundation but i'm curious to see how it's gonna apply and look over top but i like the way this looks and by the way i am letting this sit in like each product before i go into the next one for about like a minute or so just so it can really absorb into the skin okay so we're dewy and we're hydrated and the next thing that she does let's see i think it's primer then she goes in with elf poreless putty primer which is one of my all-time favorites she uses quite a bit of this which i typically like to do with this primer anyway because i feel like the more that you use the better it looks on the skin and how satisfying is this like i am hitting pan on this which i love to hit pan on products because especially i use like so many new products all the time it's nice to like actually go through my favorites you know what's nice too is that if you ever want to use a poreless putty primer this is a good trick because this primer naturally is a little bit thicker and it can make your skin look more matte but it's nice with the prep that she did beforehand with the moisturizer and the oil i feel like it smooths you out and it takes away from that really dry matte feeling that it can leave on your skin if you have very dry skin so i like her skin prep a lot especially on like my drier skin days because my skin's combo but it's been a little bit more normal lately then she uses the huda beauty nymph glaze in the shade aphrodite i could not find that i looked on her website looked at sephora i believe it's like a discontinued product but it's basically like a bronzy highlighter type product that you use under foundation so when i was looking in the comments a lot of people said that the charlotte tilbury flawless filter would be like something similar to that effect so i'm gonna go in with this and i have this one in the shade medium four and i love this product her face looked super bronzy and glowy because that product is a little bit darker than this. But I'm improvising here a little bit and making it work. And she does use a brush to blend this in, which I always like to do anyway. This one is the Haley's Beauty Brilliant Kabuki Brush. I love this with this product and then with any foundation, this brush is like magic. The next thing she does is color correct and she's using LA Girl Pro Conceal and I have this one in the shade Peach. And she actually blends this out with her finger, which I typically don't blend out anything on my under eyes with my finger. But I'm gonna do the same thing that she does. So let's blend this out. LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is a classic product. You can get it at Ulta. Blend it in really, really nicely. Then for foundation, she mixes two. So she starts off with the Derma Blend Flawless Creator Foundation. I've never tried this. I just picked this up from Ulta and I got this one in the shade 37W. And then she mixes in the Total Control Pro Drops from NYX. And in the NYX ones, I'm in the shade Medium Olive. So let's do a little concoction here. I'm going to start with the Derma Blend first. I think the shades honestly are going to be perfect because it looks very similar to the NYX one. Packaging on this is a little weird. The dropper doesn't really work. So I'm just going to put product right on the back of my hand and then I'm going to go in with the NYX and do a couple drops of that. I feel like the dropper on the NYX one is a little bit better than Derma Blend. Let's mix it up and apply. Ooh, I think that color match is going to be like so good. 
So she's blending it out. She says with a beauty blender, it kind of looks like the Real Technique sponge though, but I'm just gonna use the e.l.f. Total Face Sponge because it's very similar in shape and this one is so good and it's affordable. I'm just gonna blend this in. That color match is so on point. I kind of figured just because like looking at this, like it looks just like the NYX one. I love that. Wow, that blends really nicely. It's really seamless together, actually. Both of the foundations have a very liquidy consistency. I feel like the NYX one honestly could be like a dupe for the Derma Blend one, but they have that similar consistency, but they feel really nice on the skin. It looks really good. It might be a smidge too like yellowy for my skin because you can see it's a little bit different than my chest, but I'll make it work with concealer and everything. Then she uses Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer, which is one of my all-time favorites. I have actually a brand new one here in the shade Light Sand. I love that she uses a lot of like affordable products. So I'm gonna kind of do the placement just like she did. She did some right here. She did some right on her forehead. She also does a little bit on her chin. Then she goes in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer to contour. I'm gonna go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer instead in the shade Espresso. I put this concealer too high up, so I'm just gonna wipe it off really quick. <laughs> Let me blend that out a little bit. The placement that I did is a little bit too high. Let's add it right here. There we go. Now let's go in with LA Girl Pro Conceal. So she does a little bit right around her forehead. I have not used this in a while. I love LA Girl Pro Conceal though. Like the formula of this is so creamy. She does a little bit here and then she does some right above here. I'm doing it a little bit higher also than how I normally do it. And then she also does some right in this area, like on her cupid's bow, which I never do this, but it looks good on her. This is supposed to give you like a more pouty lip effect. And then I think, oh, she also does some on her nose. Just like that. And then right here. I love the shape of this concealer for doing this because it's like so flexible. And then she also does some like on the tip of her nose. She has like the prettiest nose. And I forgot to do concealer right here. Then she goes in with the NYX Sweet Cheeks Cream Blush, one of my favorites in Coralicious. And she places this also on her forehead. The entire applicator came off of this thing. Cute, it's okay, we're gonna keep going. She puts some right here, she puts some right here. She also puts some right above that contour, right here. And I think that's everywhere. I love this blush, it's so pretty. So she mentioned she starts to blend the darker places first on her face and then she blends in the light because then with the light products, it'll help blend the darker products out, which is actually a really good tip. So let's try it out. Ooh, that blends in really nicely. It can look a little, a little intimidating, I feel like, as you're blending. But just trust the process, take your time. She's right though, when you blend out the darker spots first and then if you have any issues with it looking a little bit too dark, or if you're having trouble blending, blend out the lighter concealer into the darker products and it just kind of helps to mesh everything together. Okay, I used a lot of blush. I don't really love this on me. I feel like it always looks like muddy. So this for me is not my favorite. I'm just gonna use like a dot of concealer just to help kind of blend this out and lighten it up a little bit. I think the products blend really well together though. Like they all work very nicely. See, the blush was looking a little crazy, but then once I blend out the concealer, I feel like it just comes together. Okay, so that's what it looks like. I think it looks really good. Like I said, that trick, 10 out of 10, really love that. With that concealer, I feel like it just all meshed 
really nicely. So yay, it's looking good. Okay, so far so good. The next thing she does is sets her face with the Beauty Bakery powder. She's using like a large fluffy brush and she's just doing like a really light layer of it. So I actually used this years ago. I did like a full face of Beauty Bakery like literally three years ago. And I was not a fan of this powder. I believe this was like a little bit too dry or something on my skin, but I used it the other day very lightly and it wasn't drying. I'm just gonna dust a little bit of this everywhere just to set. I could have probably added more cream blush, but it's okay. She didn't show this, but I'm gonna just set under my eyes very lightly just to avoid excess creasing. I feel like right now the face feels good. It doesn't feel matte, it doesn't feel dry. It feels just like natural, but comfortable. Even though it's a lot of makeup, obviously this makeup look is not natural, but it feels natural and lightweight on the skin. Then she uses Patrick Ta for powdered contour. I have actually this palette right here from Patrick Ta. This is the cream contour and powder bronzer duo. I don't love this, but I only used it like I think once or twice. So we're gonna use it again today. This is the cream and this is the powder. I'm just gonna use the powder. I feel like the formula of his blushes are just a little bit better and more pigmented. I'm just basically gonna go over where I put the contour just to set that and add a little bit more warmth to the skin. Cause I did blend out quite a bit of the creams with that concealer. Then she goes in with a NARS blush in the shade Torrid. It's just like a pink blush, but I'm just gonna use Juvia's Place Blush Duo. I love this one and I'm gonna mix both of these. Then she goes in with a hydrating face mist. I bought the same one that she used. I actually had to buy it directly on their website because it was sold out on Ulta's, but this is the Mana Kadar Skincare Hydrating Face Mist. I sprayed this the other day just to see what it smells like and it smells really good, but make sure you keep your eyes closed because if it gets in your eyes, it will burn. You've been warned. And she drenches her face, like her face looks wet when she's done, so I'm gonna do the same. So then once the face is pretty much all dry, she goes back in with that loose powder from Beauty Bakery and she takes the sponge and she dips in the product and then she wipes off the excess right on the back of her hand. And she applies this powder, whatever is left over on the sponge, to areas wherever she has larger pores. She goes directly under her eyes and in this area, which is what I'm gonna do because I feel like I need some extra powder in that area. This is where I feel like your skin really gets like smoothed out. I mean, look at this side compared to this side. Crazy. I love this trick. I love using, first of all, loose powder with a sponge. It's one of my favorite things to do. But I love the trick of setting your face and then going in with some powder after because it really smooths you out. And then I feel like it kind of like locks your makeup in even more. That looks so good. So there's the powder. And then there's no powder. Crazy. I'm also gonna do a little bit right on my forehead, pretty much all over my face, cause I feel like I need it. Cause that was a lot of setting spray, but it really does like smooth you out, this powder. I actually like this a lot. Let me go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup. I'm pretty much just gonna do lips, set my brows, do my lower lashes really quick, and then we'll keep chatting and take a closer look at the foundation and what it looks like. Okay, so as I'm finishing up my makeup, I just realized that the last thing officially that she actually did was highlight. And she's using a Wonder Beauty highlighter palette, which I don't have, but her highlighter looks like just a really light champagne shade. It looks really pretty and intense though. So I'm gonna use the Alamar Cosmetics Sun Soaked High Shine Highlighter in the shade La Costa. This is one of my favorites. If you want like a blinding highlight, these are it. They're wet and really pretty on the skin. They come in like three other shades. And so I'm just gonna use this just to highlight. You know what, since we're here, let's do the lip color. So I'm gonna use LA Girl Nude Lip Liner in Maple Glaze. Milani Color Fetish Matte Lipstick in Tease. Makeup Revolution Shimmer Balm Gloss in the shade Starlight. 
that is officially it i just applied some lower lash mascara i did a little cat eye in the inner corners just to switch it up a little bit but we are all done with the makeup look so this is the completed base routine i have some thoughts let's just talk about it first okay so first of all this looks really good i will say like there's a lot of things in her routine that i am definitely going to be using in my routine that i think work one of my favorite things is the skin prep i love the fact that she went in with moisturizer and then a little bit of oil and then the poreless putty primer on top i think that's a great trick if you want to use something like with a thicker consistency like any type of putty primer moisturizing like that beforehand will still give you that smooth porcelain look but then it's not going to feel as matte on the skin so if you have dry skin that's a great trick and i think the biggest takeaway from her routine and what's really going to give you that smooth airbrush finish is setting your face with any setting spray like a hydrating spray or just something to really melt the products into your skin and then going in with a loose powder with your sponge I think that is the biggest trick I feel like you could definitely get that effect maybe a little bit with like a brush and like a pressed powder but I think a loose powder and using a damp sponge is key and the sponge that I used by the way it was damp from earlier so it's still a little bit damp but it's not wet like make sure that when you're doing that after that your face is dry dry from the setting spray but that your sponge is also not excessively damp and then it's also not too dry but that really is what's going to smooth you out so take that loose powder and don't do too much just a light layer wherever you feel like you want to really smooth yourself out so i'm going to wear this for a few hours and then i'll come back in and check in with you guys and let you know how it looks but right now i mean it looks really flawless let's take a photo actually with flash and see how it looks i'm about to turn off all my lights let's do it Wow, okay, first of all, this is no edits, nothing. Can we talk about my under eyes? Cause I have like the worst fine lines and I feel like in this photo, they look like non-existent and super smooth. So, so far this routine is getting a 10 out of 10 for me, but of course we're gonna see how it wears throughout the day and I'll keep you guys updated. So I'll be right back. Hey guys, so it is now almost 6 p.m. I started applying the foundation around like 10 or so. So it's been like a good almost eight hours, which is pretty standard for usually like how long I wear my makeup for. So this is what everything is looking like like i have not touched my face at all since earlier i have a little shine peeking through but nothing crazy this does feel still pretty comfortable on the skin but i am starting to feel that feeling of like having a lot of makeup on overall the foundation still looks really good it's still in place it hasn't really like came off which i think is good so as far as like longevity i feel like this is definitely it you might have to touch up maybe i started noticing some oil like maybe an hour or so ago so i feel like that's pretty good my face doesn't feel super shiny it doesn't feel greasy I would give this routine maybe like for me personally like an 8 out of 10. I think for me for next time I'll probably use a little bit less foundation and I don't know if maybe mixing them for me is like necessary personally but there are a lot of techniques in this foundation routine that I love. Of course after a few hours you might have some shine peeking through so you might have to touch up a little bit but I still think overall this foundation routine is flawless. This is not something that I would use every single day but I think for special occasions there's a lot of tips and tricks along the way that could work for really prolonging your makeup and giving you a a really nice airbrush look so let me know what you guys think have you seen this makeup routine what are your thoughts on it and if you've tried it let me know what you think thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you very soon in my next video bye